Did you know there's one thing that you can do to become a better photographer? It's simple, just get closer. Get closer, closer still. Hi everybody, I'm Mark Wallace, and guess what? It is 2018, which means that it has been eight years since Adorama called me up on the phone and said, hey, we want you to start Adorama TV. And that means I have created somewhere in the vicinity of a little bit over 500 videos, tutorials about lighting and photography and video editing and all that kind of stuff. I was talking about this to some of my photographer friends last night and they said, out of all of the videos, what's the one tip, the one thing that you think photographers can do to be better? Well, I thought about that and I went and looked back through a bunch of the old videos and there's one thing that's consistent, not just in my videos, but in Ryan Peterson and Tamara Lackey and Gavin Hoey and Joe McNally and everybody that's on Adorama TV. We all do the same thing, and that is get closer. Get closer, that's right. Physically, get your camera closer to your subject. It doesn't matter if you're shooting portraits in a studio, or if you're shooting amazing scenic photography, street photography, all of it is better when you get closer. Now you can do this in several ways. So you can physically move your camera closer to your subject. And that is great if you're using a wide angle lens. And that works with a fancy camera like a Leica or a point and shoot camera like this Sony right here, or even an iPhone or Android. You can physically get closer to your subject. Let me just show you exactly what I mean. This is a cool mural here. This is from Chow Kit Murals. I'm in Chow Kit, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia right now. And this is the quietest place I could find in the entire city, so I'm sorry about the noise. But let's check this out. We have this really amazing mural here, lots of color. I could get back and take a picture of this entire thing, and it'd look okay. And in fact, here is the picture I took earlier of this mural. Ah, it's all right. But if I physically get closer, and I'm going to do this with my Sony, this is an uh, RX100 version 5, Mark 5. And so I will get back here a little bit, take a picture of this little dude. Ah. It looks okay, but if I get closer, watch what happens. So I'll get closer, just a little bit him and the little bubble here, even closer here, just him and his eyes. And you can see that we get better and better results, different results as we get closer and closer. Now again, I was thinking back to all of those videos that I've shot in the past and getting closer has been essential uh, when I was teaching about wide angle lenses in Vietnam when I was thinking about uh, shooting scenic photos. All of that stuff is better when you get closer. Now you can also get closer by getting down, by lowering your camera. What that is going to do, if you're shooting a scenic photo, if you have something in the foreground, that's going to create foreground interest. So just by getting lower, you're taking in that amazing scenic photo, but then you're bringing in something that's close to the camera, and that's gonna bring viewers in closer to their image. Here's the key. With the wide angle lens, you need foreground interest. You need something to pull you into the frame. So I could shoot just like this, standing up and take a picture of, here's Table Mountain. Blah. That's not so good because there's nothing to lead our eye into the photo. So what I should do is sort of crouch down here like this. Now I have all these little flowers here and that is my foreground interest and that is gonna make this a much more pleasing photo. So let's take a look at the first photo with me standing up compared to the second photo with that foreground interest that leads us into the frame. So when you're shooting a big panorama like this, make sure with the wide angle lens that you find something that will lead your eye into the frame. The other thing you can do is if you're in a studio, you know, if you're shooting with a 50 millimeter prime like I did when I shot those really emotional portraits, you can see that I'm really close. But if you're shooting with a longer lens, a 70 to 200, which is standard in a studio session, you get close by zooming in. Get close to those eyes, get close to the face. You might even get so close that you're doing Peter Hurley style photography and cropping the top of an image. It's okay, we wanna get connected to our subject. Get closer, get closer, get closer. Now there's one thing that you can do, it's a bonus tip if you wanna do the opposite of getting close. Getting close helps us to connect with our viewer. It's an emotional connection. It really brings us in. But if we want some distance, we want to separate ourselves and look at things from like that top-down God view, well, we can do just that. We can take our camera and look down from a high vantage point, something like a hotel balcony, like I did in Vietnam to get these images 
of these cyclists zipping by on their little scooters, all those families. It's really sort of interesting to see those from a distance. Or if you have a drone, of course, you can get way up in the sky and shoot down. You can find a perspective that works, a ladder, a crossover, a crosswalk on a busy street. It doesn't matter. Get up high and shoot down, and you're going to be doing the opposite of getting close. So that's my one plus bonus tip for you to become a better photographer. Get close, get close, get closer, and if you want to do the opposite, look down. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this episode and the past, I don't know, four or 500 episodes of videos I've done here on Adorama TV. It's been really a blast. I'm looking forward to doing many, many more in the future. It's going to be great. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. It's free, and that way you don't miss a single episode. Also, check out the Adorama Learning Center, where you can see a bunch of articles and archives on all kinds of things categorically. It's really amazing. Also, free. And then also, check me out on Instagram, where you can see where I put my tips into practice in realistic ways. Thanks again for joining me. I'll see you again next time.